Hello everybody, welcome to Season 4 Playoffs. We've got Sea Brawls with his Hello Dwarfs, Lizardmen versus Sergal with Dwarves. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello, Dimmy. Hello everybody, hello Jimmy, and what is this, round 3? It's, uh, well, it's round 16, this is the first one we're doing replays. Round of, round of 16. Mm. Has he got a sneaky git on a movement up Blodge Skink? He does, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty really good. Yeah. Quite interesting. Yeah, not what I would have done, but who can see if it's good or bad. How much does that skink cost? I guess it depends whether it's random or not, right? So Surely the block was random. And it's it's not necessarily in the order that you pick them either, is it? So it's uh Oh he random before the round and then got sneaky git on a random agility, that's pretty good. Oh okay, because it's quite a, <laughs> it's quite an interesting choice of skills. <laughs> So you random agility. What, hoping for sidestep or sprint? Or well, just like hoping for anything, right? Because he was he was at fifteen ninety, so. So yeah, the no. Than oh yeah, because it's ten k for a primary, yeah. isn't it? For a second, yeah. Sneaky get DP Lino, Jesus. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh... At least uh, guard doesn't work on fouls anymore, but. Uh... Yeah, that's that's actually huge. Like honestly, uh... yeah, huge. It is pretty huge for for dwarves yeah, in this team. I wonder if that is something that's actually come off the back of Blood Bowl three rather than tabletop. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't think they give two shits. But I mean, like they would have potentially have seen how good it is. I don't know. I don't know. No, no. Lovely dice though look from Seabro. Seabro's got the best dice. They are pretty nice dice, they are pretty nice, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice little shape he's got here as well. Mm, but he's gonna get beaten off by dwarves, I think. He is. Oh, just a push. Mm. Pretty good. It's quite a nice lizard team, so has he got all the Saurus are skilled, so like, even, yeah, even the, the worst Saurus is just a block Saurus, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. How many Saurus does he got? Yeah. Is he missing Five a Saurus? Oh, no. Uh. Um, three. No, he's got six. He's got six. Block, block, uh, block okay. tackle, block guard. Block guard, yeah, block not... guard, block guard, mighty tackle. Not bad at all. Oh, the tackle was the dwarf behind him. Yeah, loads of block guard. Bosh. And uh, the Crocs has got block guard stand firm. Was he going to blitz the uh, sneaky git? I mean, I would, I think. Yeah, yeah. Sneaky git. It makes sense, right? It's a pretty annoying player continuously fouling your Crocs. <laughs> Might kill him. I'm no, not even kill him, just KO him. What's the, like, do you reckon he's pick dirty player? And then he so must have picked yeah, a player yeah. and sneaky get, yeah. So do you yeah. reckon he's paying 40k for that sneaky get? Yeah, probably. It's worth That's it, isn't it? It's a great, it's a great skill. It is. It's just, it's very expensive secondary. It is, it is very expensive. Yorp. That's like four guard dwarfs. Oh my god, I didn't blue red them. Sorry, yeah. I didn't, the one time I didn't even look at the colours, yeah. So we've got green and white, okay, and then a, light, a lovely gold for sea bros, but yeah, let's put them red and blue. So a lovely time. gold. Let's see, tell what the hell's happening. I do apologise. Two assist foul on the Crocs. Yeah, and now nope. finally the Crocs is up, look at that. Fua. He's erected himself. Yes. And now saw all of us. Nice one in nine block there, sea bro. <laughs> Needs to learn how to roll dice better. Softly, Jim. That is the key. You roll dice softly. Mm. I discovered that this week. <laughs> and, Honestly, and you want? If you, if you could roll better, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be. That's the biggest gains you can make. Honestly, go to like a magic school or whatever. You know. And practice sleight of hand and rolling dice really well. That will get you the biggest gains for tabletop blue ball. 
Some would call it cheating, but uh. Oh, well, now he's in a iffy position of standing that guy up. He's in a very bit of a pickle, isn't he? Yeah, this is uh, very dangerous. Mm. Yeah, he really. Has he got a troll? There's no troll slayer, is there? No. No. Oh, he's got a leader runner, so he's got a blodge runner and a leader runner. How many rerolls has he got? Three. Okay. One assists. Well, breaks, breaks the armor with one assist. Wow. Gosh. I think Seabros wants to hit the ball though rather than hit the uh, <laughs> sneaky kit now. Ah, oh, you didn't do it on the. Uh... Oh, they're both staying firm. Yeah, because it's three dice. Yeah, yeah, you had to do that one first for the three dice. Bosh. So, he's got a 2D here if he puts the skink around, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's got to dodge with a skink though, hasn't he, to assist. Oh, he doesn't have to dodge anything. No, he doesn't, he's around. got the one, yeah, just run all the way around, and then he can run yeah, straight GF5, through the middle. GFI with a skink. Bosh him in the face! What was that? I was standing on the crux. Burnt the one for the, mm -hmm. the GFI. That was absolutely genius, Jim. Yep. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Rolly the crux could have just moved in. But he rolled oh, on the crux. Gets the arrow, sacks in. the ball. Got no one to recover it, though. Yeah, if the crux had activated. Whoa. I wouldn't have activated this. This skin color kept him off. Oh, well. Yeah, that saw us on the left. Oh, that wasn't actually a dodge, was it? No. No. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Oh. It's a pow. Flat. In front of the foul. Yeah, the sneaky get dirty players make so many fouls. And finally gets a removal. Oh. Does he get sent off? No. 11 on the injury. The only injury that uh, you can't get sent off from, right? Yeah, yeah. The only, the only casualty you can't get sent off for. Yeah. Double skulls. Oof. I wonder if he should have just blitzed the sneaky kid today, player. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was cool going for the ball, but yeah, maybe just, maybe just keep going for that sneaky kid today, player, because he's, he's a terror, isn't he? That's quite mad, actually, thinking about it. When you foul, if you get a casualty, you're two out of three to get sent off for it. Wow. Are you two out of three? To get sent off for a casualty, if you foul. 50-50. No, you know... Well, no, because you can roll a 10 or a 12, but not an 11, isn't it? Well, you can roll 5-5, five, five, or you can roll 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. You can roll five six. Oh right, six, yeah, 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 yeah. Five yeah, six. Course, so there's yeah. six results. Two of them get two of them get you sent off. So yeah. One so in what's three. that? One in three to get sent off if you make a curse. One in three. Plus there's by nines if you've got dirty player as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you can roll four four, right? And then with the dirty player. And then you just get a KO. What, with the dirty player? Yeah. Oh, of course it is, yeah. What am I talking Unless about? Unless it's a yeah. yeah. Oh, Don't man. Seabro's so just wasting all of his fucking hits. Two Saurus getting pwned by this guy is very unlucky. This is normally like a pretty good matchup for Lizards. Yeah. Oh, he's just push pushing them constantly. <laughs> oh. Finally gets him. Honestly, maybe he should have done the Crocs first. Oh, oh, from, from that one, because then it's a three dice to three up two. Right? Yeah, and he's got a block on it, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, probably should have opened for the Crocs there. Like, I know it's valuable to get the Crocs over, but the fact that it increases your chance of getting both is maybe worth doing the Crocs first. Makes for the dodge. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, these, these two stand firm boys. 
Yeah, doing work, couldn't they? And they're not dying as well, or getting stunned, which is... Simply remove the skinks? Yeah, he's down to two now, isn't he? I see he knows his Reddit well. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Reddit well. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. This is full Maris Piper here. <laughs> yep. We just five plus dodging, I guess. Nah, he's skinking. Man. He's is he gonna double? Wait, one D with the skink? Is it? Oh, there's another skink there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skinking ain't easy. Skinking. Oh, scoring! Is that his scoring? Yeah, threat? scoring threat. Oh, oh love, love it. it. So he's gonna one in nine this, and then. Oh, oh, he gets the follow-up hit. Well, uh, gets the power. Oh, gets the power. Gets the power. Oh my God. Didn't go for the sideline. Oh, didn't follow. Okay, well he goes in now. I wonder if the sideline's better though. <coughs> uh, yeah, maybe. <coughs> I don't know. It's hard to say though. I mean, he's like, only got one turn, he can't score now, right? But it doesn't matter where you push him, he can't <coughs> score. So. Could that leader run a score, no? Nah, he's too far. One, two. Well, he stood up already, but... Or was he... I can't remember if he was on his arse or not. No, he stood up, but he was. He was just wasn't in the main track, he's only been on six. Hmm. So it didn't matter for stopping the skull, so it was just, you know, if the throwing can help you and it... Well, yeah, this is... The, well, like, the thing is, oh, because dead, he didn't... Dead, dead. <coughs> because he didn't scatter it out, the ball's now stuck on the sideline next to two dwarves, whereas if he scattered it out, it could be anywhere, right? Yeah. And, uh, like, all of uh, Circle's strength was on that sideline where the ball was, so mm. I, I think I might have... might have... I mean, that's the sort of one where I scatter out and I lose the game because it ends in my end zone. And then mm. I've got two out of three great places for it to go, and it <laughs> always goes to the shit one. This is looking pretty rough now, isn't it? Nine <laughs> players, only, only four Saurus. Yeah, it's the Saurus. I mean, Saurus is terrible. Yeah. Tilted me off the planet. Yeah, two five plus dodges. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It wouldn't have tilted me, of course, because I'm completely unflappable. Yeah. <laughs> Never once would I go pow 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 pow. <laughs> I mean, there was one competition that you only won because you weren't allowed to concede. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> Which is quite hilarious. So. <laughs> that was pretty amazing, yeah. I was so close to conceding that. I was so close. And then Two in a row. Ended up being a major win. Glorious. Yeah, this is looking tough, isn't it? But, you know, it's still it's nil-nil. So, while this is kind of sensible to just, like, you know, screen, it's playing in the lizard's hand a bit, isn't it? Because he, he doesn't have to get forward. You know, he just has to stay where he is, doesn't he? And uh, hope he can get a breakaway. It's been ages since I've eaten a breakaway. Why are rocks tier two? Because, uh, because I just choose because necros are going to be tier two, right? Dino, basically, I could talk about this tomorrow, but um, I didn't want to change other parts of the thing without changing necro. Like, you know, I thought maybe change necro to be tier two and orcs are tier one. But then I thought let's just keep it as euro ball rules, so they are euro ball rules, and then maybe change it next season. Also, the fact that I. Just hadn't, you know, was waiting till the last second anyway. So, like, if I hadn't waited till the last second, I'd be able to thought more about changing, diff my own, you know, making my own rule set. But it was a bit last second, wasn't it? And plus, I thought, you know, it's okay if, if too many people, you know, if Necro are too popular this season because, uh, 
for the new team and that, aren't they? So I thought, give the, give the Necro their, their time to be... Yeah, maybe Underworld could be tier 3 now. Maybe that'll get, maybe that'll get Elliot to play. <laughs> Instant. Instantly has to defend any any notion of him playing Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> oh. GFI. Oh. I went to one there. No, that was a bad move. Oh. Sideline. Oh. He doesn't have sidestep. He doesn't, Jim. Uh, he's got he's, a sneaky git. He's pretty reliant on this dodge working here, isn't he? He's probably, uh, oh. He's probably pretty. Did he re roll it? Yeah, failed. Oh well. Instant oh well. Stuff. Oh well. Don't. Flip me, guys. Ripperoni. Get your uh, surfboard wax out. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Yeah, it's not over. It's not, it's not over. What is this, a 4 plus dodge? 3. Is that a blitzer? Blitzer, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe he'll roll a 1 in 9? No. 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 Oh, full power as well, just for uh, clarity. No. Dead, dead, dead. Oh god, he is as well. Badly hurt. And he's got the golden hand and everything. Yeah. All, all, see, this is why I don't put cosmetics <laughs> on my players. <laughs> and does the ball just come back? Oh, he goes come back perfect for him. So he rolls a random GFI. Yeah, two random GFIs. Eh? Yeah, Lovely. why not? Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how many, many rerolls of that? <laughs> that was a few, wasn't it? But he's he's all right now, and he's got the ball. Yeah, he has. Uh, and there's there's like two lizards left. Yeah. Oh, tragedy. Tragedy. When the feeling's gone and you can't go on. Yep. What a banger that was, by the way, by steps. Oh, is that? Is that? <laughs> oh, here we go. It's not by the Bee Gees, was it? It was by steps. Doom, doom, doom. Oh. Oh. No on. more rerolls. No more rerolls. Poor old Sea Bros. Turn 12. Get so the power. Is in trouble. Gets the armor break. Oh. Gets the removal. Oh man. Don't say it's over. There is a. Uh, there's some salt in chat, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> you would have won if you didn't have a kid. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Yeah. The Elliot piping up to say I'm not fucking playing was great. <laughs> that was the highlight. That was the highlight of this match for me. Oh, we've even got the sneaky get to Oh, he didn't. Oh, he's fouling the skink. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's GG if he goes. He's not gone. Doesn't... He's not gone. He didn't even break armor. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Let's go. Wow. There's a chance. One in nine to get the pal. Yeah. And then just I mean, do loads of dodges and pick up with a Saurus afterwards, easy. Easy. They do play powers. No. No. Skull. Instant skull. Dead, dead, dead. Not dead. Didn't even break armor. Didn't he break armor. Yeah. <laughs> That that dwarf when he stood up sounds like me when I've like had my legs crossed for too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old man dwarf. <laughs> oh, of course. Mate, the stand firm has just been amazing. Isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, it really has. I mean, just think nobility, Jim. Yeah, but they'd have, they've got a good team to back it up, though, Dim. What? You what? This is almost a good thing. Bosh. Oh, my God. Okay. 
serious injury. Absolutely brutally, brutally banged on. Poor old sea bros. Absolutely bodied. It's not over though. Don't say it's over. Lizards are good against dwarves in NAF format. They aren't so good <laughs> when there's lots of skills involved, right? And that's the thing. When I mean, like, he's been unlucky with the the rolls and stuff. Like, he hasn't sure. done any any damage to these dwarves whatsoever. Sure. But, like, he's the skills... Got... Like, you know, orcs... Like, lizards absolutely fucking dominate orcs at, like, NAF format, but... Yeah, yeah, teams, yeah. But then once, once you know, once loads of once there's once the orcs have like eleven guard and like fucking seven mighty blow, it's just too easy. It just randomly casts Saurus. And in this yeah. case, all the stand firm was amazing, wasn't it? Putting sticking uh, two Saurus on one dwarf for stand firm was incredible. Yeah, because they can't move anywhere. Yeah. And like normally with another team, like they'll be chipping players, but like with dwarfs, they've all just hung around. It's been brutal for the seaboard, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, scoring threat. <laughs> Where hey? It's happening. Mm. Yeah, dirty player sneaky, it's incredible. Yeah, it's just it's just broken. Yep. I've already painted my knob say dev. <laughs> And uh, I've, I've played with it quite a lot now. Oh wow! Yeah. Are you dead? Still around? I even let someone else play with my knobs the other day. Hoping for an art commission. One day that'll happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One day it'll happen. One day. It will, honest. It will. Paint my knobs again? Nah. I've got, I've got other stuff to do. I've got to paint some vampires. Someday. It's gonna happen, I promise. I promise I'm gonna get my shit together and do things one day. You will? You're not supposed to tell people that, Jim. I know. You're supposed to keep it to yourself. I know that, but also. Because then, if, if you do one day get your shit together, then that's great, but if you don't, then you haven't let anyone down. Yes, but I'm already letting them down by letting them redeem the points, so. <laughs> yeah, but just no. don't mention it, Jim. Don't mention it. <laughs> it's fine. Stoic no. philosophy, mate. Don't, I don't know, tell I know, anyone. I know, I know that, obviously. But the, it's on. different when you're when you know you're streaming, and that's what it's all about is saying what you're going to do and stuff, isn't I, it? I accidentally told someone that I was going to run a pub bowl tournament, <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, "How are you getting on with it?" And I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> I, I haven't done anything." <laughs> and then I ended up having to do it. So, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd say it was like a soft dicing, right? It wasn't it wasn't the worst yes. dicing ever, but it was certainly enough to make it. Yeah, the turn with the skink on the sideline. I mean, I feel that is just a bit of panic setting in, like because he was so low on players, obviously wanting to score quick, but he could have just. I mean, with lizards, you you don't need to do anything crazy, do you? You can just sit and chill for a bit, and I guess it's obviously he's worried about losing players and stuff. But putting the ball on the sideline and stuff is probably. Yeah. One of the mistakes that cost the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with caution, yeah. I had to a little caught up in bad trades and had to keep the middle, yeah, I would say. I would agree with that. But, you know, still got banged out on that. Yeah, but you could just be sit really deep in your own half. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. and Definitely got the worst dice. So there yeah. you go. Um, commiseration, sea brawls. Thank you, Dimmy. Glorious having you in the uh, in the. Quite well, enjoyed that one. It's always nice to see a, 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 a game of Lotto. Yeah, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.